and on this side you've got the fuel tap push down for on pull up for off also on the back nicely named hub with the word atom written on it and there's the speedo on the mobilette which says zero to 90 kilometers an hour I think approximately 45 kilometers an hour is about 35 miles an hour somewhere around there but quite a machine and it's also unrestricted as well because it's 1972 so it goes really really well and when I got it it didn't look like this it was all rusty corroded and didn't work I've put new cables on um, I've put some carb parts on, I've put a new spark plug, um, a new HT lead um, and also a new set of cables and I've just touched in some of the paintwork to try and keep the nice original look and also the wheels have had a good clean with some auto sole and they've come up really nice and you can see the new cables, you can see where I've touched in the old paintwork as well and touched in some of the rust marks with some rust cure and generally she looks really really good and on the mudguard a nice green hornet logo and then so next we're going to start her up and this is how you start her you pull in the compressor which is just on the top of the handlebar there give it some revs and just pedal also the fuel's on as well so we shouldn't have any problems it usually starts first time. There we go. 1972 German Mobile F. Just ticks over nicely. Timing, I think, just needs a slight adjustment, but then it has been in a garden shed for over 40 years. And there's the German head badge marker for Motor Bacane, Hertz Stella, Frank Reich, 1972. Lovely. And you can simply shut them down just by pulling the decompressor back in, like so. And then we go silence again. So I'm using a 1 to 33 ratio a fuel mix in this what I've done it's got a 5 litre can put 5 litres of fuel in it and then put approximately 160 millilitres of good quality two stroke oil in the can shook the whole thing up and then poured it in the petrol tank and also another thing that I've changed as well is the coil this is a brand new one from classic moped spares and you can find those online um, there's a few other places that supply them as well as the new set of handlebars which I'll be purchasing soon because these are actually quite pitted and I thought just to tidy it up I'll put some new bars on it make it look a bit smarter also I've just touched in the headlight where there was some corrosion in some scratches just to clean it up a bit I'm not too fussed really I think all in all 
compared to its previous state it looks amazing and there we've still got a motorbicane original motorbicane sticker on the frame there which is lovely if we go around to the back of the vehicle you can see there was a spot where they put the tool kit in there and I'm not sure what this bracket was here maybe this was tool kit or pump but if you look down on the bottom inside there there's a ledge where something would sit and there's a little metal clasp there where something clicked into but not sure maybe someone can tell me and these are some of the rust spots that I've cleared up along here just put some rust cure on them I'm just going to leave those for now at least they're cured this is the choke this is the back brake this is the front brake which is also attached to the accelerator so when you pull the front brake right on it disengages the accelerator and here are the new cables which I think was an essential part to getting it running and they connect all the way behind these panels where you've got the carburetor the engine and the uh, rotational clutch is the filler lid if you undo it sometimes you might find yours is not running because that little hole is blocked so that's worth checking and as you can see from the shine on the rod she's fully topped up should be maybe doing maybe a hundred miles on this I'm not sure yet to try it out and another thing I did was cut down the top the cap for the spark plug I just sawed half an inch off of it with a very fine hacksaw and just a little bit of oil on the blade a lot easier which is a useful tip and if you put the shroud back on there should be no problems with that good thing to change the spark plug and the coil should you get an old one of these to save you a load of palaver and also the gap on the spark plug was 0 0.5 millimeters um, I understand you can have 0 0.5 for different types of running and down to about four but that's the spec for this particular bike so I'm sticking to the mix and the spec on the spark plug and everything seems to work fine like they say if it's not broken don't fix it